Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing an overview of the brand new DJI FPV drone. Stick around. Now we have been a little bit impatient and we've already opened the boxes to have a sneak preview. So let's get this box open and show you guys. So here we have the brand new DJI FPV drone and goggles. Go on top and then the goggles. Let's get the drone out of the box. So this is the brand new DJI FPV drone. So it's very small, very lightweight. The battery pack's actually in the back here. There's a little connector they just remove from the top and there's two squeezy tabs on either side. So you just squeeze them and the battery will come straight out like that, quite nice. Um, the drone itself is, is reasonably light. Um, I imagine you could probably get some good speed out of this. I'm sure we'll be doing some flight tests soon. The battery is actually quite the, it's almost the same weight, the battery in the drone. So clearly DJI has thought about power to weight ratio quite a lot with this one. So we'll just pop that back in there for now and we'll, co we'll come back to a bit more of a detailed overview of that. So I'll pop that there. The next thing you take out of the box is the goggles. Now these goggles are incredibly light. I know in the past I've had a little bit of neck fatigue when I've used the, uh, the previous versions of the goggles because they are quite heavy. Whereas these are, <laughs> they're very light. Um, you can actually remove this uh, bit here for hygiene and cleaning purposes as well. Um, so that's really nice. Um, it does come with some adjustments for the eyepieces. Um, so here you can see the adjustments there for the eyepiece. Now this, this thing is covered in buttons. I imagine there's gonna be a lot of menus and stuff to go through. So we've got a little bit of IO here. Uh, we've also got some, some buttons here as well. Um, we've got USB um, and micro SD card slots on, on, on the side here. Um, and on the right hand side, we also have headphones. Um, and power in that as well. Um, now the battery for this is, does come separate to these, it's not actually inside, which may contribute to why it's so light. It actually sits on the head strap itself, but we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. Delving further into the box, we just need to remove this piece of black foam here. Um, all the rest of the accessories are found in the bottom of the box. DJI obviously does a fantastic job of packing them. So we'll move on to the controller next. So the next thing that we're going to look at is the remote. So let's get out of the box. So this is the brand new DJI FPV remote, which uses then brand new O3 transmission technology. Now the antennas for this um, fold out on this little area here, which is actually spring loaded, so you won't damage it as well. Um, on the back of the remote, we also have uh, wheels for con uh, controlling the gimbal there. Uh, we've got our return to home buttons. We also have our flight mode selection, which goes from normal mode here to sport mode, and most excitingly, manual mode. Um, I'm look really looking forward to flying in manual as well. We also have um, the manual, I believe, start and stop, so you can actually start manual mode or stop manual mode, um, as well as our capture button as well. On the front of the remote, uh, we'll see that it doesn't actually come with sticks um, already in the box, but they're actually on the side there. We can just take them out and, and mount them on there. We'll do that in a moment. It also comes with one programmable C button as well. So we'll get a little bit more in depth of that in a moment there. So let's have a look at the propellers. Now the propellers come in these two boxes here. Uh, it does say a pair of propellers on the box, but there's actually four in each. Um, so they do come in A and B formats. So this will be clockwise and counterclockwise. Now, the reason it says A and B in the box is because there are stickers on the drone themselves, which are red A and black B. Uh, the motors are also banded in those colors. Uh, a is, is red and the B motors are black. So you can't get them mixed up. Um, so if we open a box up of one of these propellers, you'll see why they're a little bit different from what DJI has done in the past. They're actually triple winged propellers to provide you with a little bit more thrust. Now the propellers themselves, um, they're actually swept at the ends as DJI has done with their folding propellers on the Mavic 2 ranges. Um, and the quality is very, the high, high quality plastic. So these aren't gonna just shatter. Um, so I think I have quite high confidence in flying with them. Now let's put that back in the box and we'll have a look at the next feature. So of the two boxes we've got left in here, we have this smaller one, which weighs a lot, so it's probably the adapters. It is the adapters. So we'll open this up. So this is the main power bank adapter. Um, the wall plug is, I believe, is in the other box. Now we have 
This cable, which will plug directly into the battery itself, that little bit that comes off the drawer and it plugs directly into there. It also has two USB ports on the back so that you can charge uh, your remote and you can charge this. Now this is actually the battery for the goggles. So we'll just take that out of here. Nicely packaged and wonderful. There we go. So this is the uh, battery pack for the goggles, which will go on the side. So uh, of the actual um, headband itself, it sort of sits on the side there and it is USB chargeable. Uh, there's also the power button on the back for that. So the final box to take out of the big box is various. So we'll pop this down here for the moment and we can open this up. So in this box, you'll find uh, a top shell, um, the actual antennas for the, the goggles, um, the headband, cables, manuals, all that sort of accessory stuff. Uh, now, DJI does a wonderful job here of making things a little bit difficult to open. There we are. So first things first, we have the protective cover for the top shell of the drone, which comes in this wonderful, if I can get it open, there we are. It comes in this wonderful green. Wow, that is green. So this is a nice little protective shell. Um, it's an optional extra, so you can actually remove the clear version and replace it with the green version. Um, there's actually two screw holes on the side here. Um, on the drone, you'll see two screw holes on the side here. And all you need to do is remove those four screws to another side, and you can remove the top shell for an optional cool extra. So we've got some antennas there. We've got some more antennas there. Uh, that is the power charger cable for, I believe, the battery, as in the goggles battery. Um, here is a USB to A, USB C to A adapter. That's your wall plug for your main charger. So your user manuals. They also give you some spare uh, sticks for the remote. Now, I believe this, you get, you get a little Allen key as well for various bits and bobs. If you wanted to remove screws from the side, this Allen key will fit onto those screws. You don't need to have any of your own tools. In this little bag here, we have the strap. So this is the head strap for the DGR goggles. So the design of the new head strap is much more simple in, in comparison to what's ha happened in the past. Um, all you need to do is take your goggles and we're gonna up, up, take open one of these, which is just Velcro. Now all you need to do is pass that through there and it just Velcros on there. So you can do that to the other two sides and you will have a nice little head set there. The final thing is, of course, uh, the standard USB uh, to uh, USB C cable um, for connecting up the drone to your computer and to do updates or uh, if you're doing calibrations, that kind of thing. So that's the complete unboxing as we have it now. Okay, so real quick, we're just gonna put the propellers onto the drone. So we're gonna remove these two little foam discs that it ships with, they're just packaging, that's fine. Now the propellers themselves have got colors associated with them. So this one has a red circle on it. Now this one will need to go onto the motor, which has the red points on it. The other has a black 
face on it. Now this will go matched with the propeller with the black face. It's, it's much like with uh, other DJI drones, it will have a ring with white or no, no ring at all. So the colors go with the colors and the black go with the black. So all, all you do to put it on is just push it down and twist it and it will lock into place. It's much like using any other of the DJI drones if you're familiar with them. So we're just gonna push that down and twist it and it will lock. Same with the other side, push it down and lock. And the last one, push it down and lock. And that is the propellers on the drone. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the antennas onto the goggle headset. So the four antennas are dead simple. All you do is take the antenna and just screw it straight on. There's no particular place for each antenna. Um, you just screw them straight on there, all the way in. You don't need to make them too tight, just enough for them to stay on there. And that is the headset with the antennas attached. So the final thing we're going to do is pop the remote control sticks onto the remote controller itself. So these are found in these little pockets on either side of the remote controller handles. Now these will just pop out, dead easy. Just get a thumb in there and they just come straight out. So that's one, oops, and then this is two. So they just literally screw in. Um, it's very, very easy just to screw them in all the way in on the other one. There it is. And then your thumbs will be at perfect position for flying. Okay, so the power for the goggles is done by this little battery pack here. Now in the box, there will be a cable, which will be a USB-C cable to a DC jack. Now this is the cable you need. So all you need to do is pop the USB end into the port on the battery and the DC end into the port on the goggles, which is actually on the side here. Now the length of this cable that DJI has provided will allow you to pop the battery into any pocket, a uh, jacket pocket or even a back pocket in your trousers, uh, keeps it away from the goggles, it keeps it light on your head and also means that if you have multiple of these batteries you can simply replace them uh, in the field and not need to charge it up before using them again. In comparison to any of the other drones that DJI has released, uh, the FPV drone is more similar to the Mavic range than any of the others. Its weight is very similar to that of the Mavic 2 Pro and its, uh, its form factor is more similar to that of the Mavic Air 2. Now, here at Heligal, we are super excited about this drone. Uh, we've invested quite a lot of money into it and it will be available from the 2nd of March 2021. So do get yourself on the heliguy.com website and keep an eye out for that. If you have got anything out of this video, please do like and leave a comment below. It really does help. Subscribe to get the next videos and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.